Hello and welcome to Kingston Now. I'm Jimmy Buff. In January, Ulster County Executive Mike Hine and Kingston Mayor Shane Gallo held a joint press conference at the Kingston Visitor Center on the Rondout to announce a shared services agreement to better promote Kingston and Ulster County. Here's some of that press conference. First off, thank you very much for joining us here today. We're very excited. You know, so often in, when it comes to things like shared service and coordinated efforts, you hear of us talking about things like highway patrols, or I'm assuming highways, and how we can be able to cut uh, costs on plowing roads. And it's all those kinds of really nuts and bolts. What's often lost on the fact is we believe that shared services is a way to be able to not only make government less expensive, but to also, in some instances, be able to augment what you have and make it even better. We're the state's first capital, of course. The U.S. Senate met here, as we all know. So it's rich in, in history and heritage. It gives Kingston a sense of pride, a sense of place, unlike many other upstate municipalities. And, and I'm proud to be its mayor. You look at the entertainment, the restaurants. We have world-class restaurants and entertainment, a number of festivals. And I want to thank Katie um, Cook because... Katie hasn't had it easy, and, and one of the reasons which motivated me to have discussions with Michael and to consolidate services and to leverage our tax dollars more effic efficiently for the taxpayers and to really promote Kingston's tourism is Katie literally was operating with a budget that, for instance, only had $100 in advertising, which if you think about it, it was an arduous task for this young lady to try to put together and plan events and then advertise those events. So I really want to acknowledge Katie publicly, okay, for doing a, a good job, okay, given, okay, and, and also acknowledge her for promoting our history, our waterfront, our restaurants, okay, and our festivals. And she's planned many of them again without that much money to do it. So as Michael said, we're a jewel. And when you take into account, okay, the financial realities of promoting this jewel, a diamond in the rough, if you'll pardon the, the analogy, is that we have a declining budget where we, as I just stated, we don't have the money for advertising. We also, okay, um, have literally one common taxpayer here, the city and the county. And I am so excited about collaborating with Mr. Hine and his tourist department because the Ulster County Alive webpage the resources that they have available in terms of advertising, radio, and print. Uh, Mike's staff deserves a lot of credit because they're doing a phenomenal job, okay, in promoting not only the jewel and the asset of Kingston, but throughout the entire county. It bears repeating a discussion really about where we were at. The county, before this new form of government, had real challenges within its tourism operation. I would say we were spending $800,000 to get $80,000 of I Love New York money, and what I would say would go down as one of the worst business deals you have ever seen. The truth of the matter is, we simply attended tra trade shows and tried to draw people here with pamphlets, and that was it. We went in, we made significant reductions in spending, and simply said, we're not going to spend another dime until we can prove that we can really overhaul this operation. Now what you're finding is, through a highly professional team that's been assembled. We bring, Google, we bring business principles. We bring Google Analytics to the place. We've rebranded it with UlsterCountyAlive.com. I encourage people to go there. At the Ulster County website, there's also going to be a hyperlink directly to Kingston. So it's important that we understand what we are doing here. So really, let's put in context what's going on. In the city of Kingston, again, they are, they, they are facing the exact same challenges that cities face all across New York State. One of the challenges they were facing is having to make those difficult decisions as aldermen. Are you going to fund tourism or are you going to make sure that you have police protection? Those are those difficult decisions that are forced to be made in cities all the time. Well, what we've said is, with this agreement today with the mayor and myself, is we believe by changing the rules, by becoming more innovative, that we, can, we don't have to make that kind of choice. We can not just get less expensive, we can get better. One last note that I want to make sure that we're clear about, and if I have forgot it, we should make sure that we put it all in context. Tourism in Ulster County is a $430 million part of our economy. It is a significant portion of what drives Ulster County businesses. Again, thank you very much for coming. I really appreciate it. And it was a very exciting day for all of us. And thanks to uh, Mr. Hine and the county. Thank you, Jeanette. You're watching Kingston Now, and in a moment we'll be joined again by Kingston Mayor Shane Gallo and Rick Remsnyder. But first, let's take a look at a commercial for Ulster County that airs in New York City. Wow, isn't that beautiful? I've been traveling far and wide, I just got back today. In a land full of surprises, all the
Welcome back to Kingston Now. We're joined by Kingston Mayor Shane Gallo and the Ulster County Director of Tourism, Rick Remsnyder. Hi, guys. Morning, hey, Jimmy. How are you? Last I saw you together was at a press conference in January down on the waterfront on the Rondau to announce a shared service agreement between the county and the city to promote tourism. Uh, Mayor, is this the first time the county and the city have had a shared service agreement? No, Jimmy. As Assistant Corporation Counsel, I was responsible for negotiating with uh, the county, uh, Mike Kine, and also their Emergency Management Department, uh, Art Snyder, the consolidation of our Fire Department Dispatcher Services with the uh, 911 uh, communication of the county and uh, essentially uh, what we're doing now with the tourism um, consolidation is similar we're trying to leverage those tax dollars to provide efficient services to the public and nowadays it's incumbent upon all elected officials to, fig to see if in fact we can consolidate and share services to minimize tax to the taxes okay and provide efficient services as well and it seems like there is overlap in certain areas and that, you know, if you can save money, that's a good deal. Correct. Like, for instance, we're doing it uh, with the town of Ulster, okay, with the AVR project. We have a shared services agreement with respect to a sewer district uh, that we're going to uh, be, be, be putting in um, at that site uh, to stimulate that project's development or facilitate it. And with regard to tourism, um, it's the same approach that what we're trying to do is leverage those tax dollars. So for every tax dollar, we're spending $30,000 with the county. It's as analogous to retaining an advertising agency, a Madison Avenue advertising agency, to advertise and promote the city of Kingston's personality, if you will, throughout the area, in the metropolitan area. So it's win-win for the taxpayers. Rick, and the county, too. Yeah, no, it's, it sounds like they save deal. on rent. It's my understanding. Yeah. I think there's going to be about a $15,000 savings, okay, with regard to the consolidation. So county, the city, we're leveraging tax dollars, providing a service to the public, and then, as I stated, being able to market Kingston's personality. Rick, you've been marketing Ulster County's personality um, in areas outside of, of Ulster County down in New, York, in New York City. Can you talk a little bit about how you've done that? I'd be happy to, Jimmy. And uh, first of all, I love being here. Appreciate it. And we're very excited to be working with the city of Kingston and with, in this project. Um, as you know, our core market is the uh, New York City metropolitan area. So in, in the past, uh, we couple weeks we've started a, uh, a major advertising campaign radio 1010 wins to try to promote the uh, ski season now if we could use get a little snow <laughs> it would really help us but uh, that's one of the things that uh, has been very successful uh, we also plan later in the year to uh, do another uh, tv uh, commercial we've had a lot of success with uh, wabc tv and of course, uh, we still do uh, print advertising uh, and uh, in magazines and newspapers. And uh, one thing that's been very successful of, of late has been through our uh, pay-per-click campaign, uh, th so promoting our brand, which is UlsterCountyAlive.com, which means Ulster County is alive with things to do. So we have a very diverse plan, marketing plan, and we try to hit uh, all the, the touch points of the, are great for marketing, and, and we've been very fortunate to uh, be successful. At the press conference um, with the mayor and the county executive back in January, Mike Hines said that as goes Kingston, so goes Ulster County. How do you fold Kingston into the promotion of Ulster County to the areas outside? Well, it's, it's very easy because Kingston is the anchor for Ulster County. And uh, uh, it's one of the three uh, major stops uh, on the thruway, New Paltz, Kingston, Saugerties. And we have been working uh, to promote the, Kingston, uh, Kingston's, the city of Kingston, particularly uh, their tremendous af assets, the uptown area, the historic district, of course, the waterfront, and many other assets. But one of the things I'm very excited about this project is with this extra money that the city is giving us, $30,000 will be specifically targeted towards their events and whatever the city uh, would like to promote. So that way we're able to you know, zone in a little uh, more than we have in the past. And it's going to be, uh, the mayor stole my great uh, idea line here, a win-win situation for both of us, and it really is. Uh, Mayor, where does the money come from? Where are we? Where are you getting the money to give the county? We had um, allocated f for our uh, tourism, um, I believe it was about seventy-five or eighty-some odd thousand dollars, 
And what was telling and made really motivated me to, 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 to really pursue this uh, as zealous as we did was we only had $100 allocated for advertising for all of Kingston's tourism. Um, we have not been able to have walking tours in the Rondout or the historic district because the council in four years ago wouldn't approve uh, money necessary to print the brochures, okay, for those walking tours. So the money, the answer to your question, comes from that budget, line, those line items for that department's budget. And uh, it will still result in the city having a $40,000 savings. So essentially, the, 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 what we'll be doing is for the $30,000 we'll be paying the county, they'll also be saving on the rent, okay, number one, that they're paying elsewhere. And number two, okay, we'll be saving on the, the cost of the personnel no longer necessary. And essentially, as Rick said, notwithstanding stealing his thunder, it is win-win because we're leveraging those tax dollars then in the process getting savings. So it's, 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 it's very exciting to do it that way. So, so you'll eliminate the personnel cost to, which was the bulk of that $70,000? Correct. And, and so they had $70,000 for personnel, but no money to promote to approximately a hundred dollars for the advertising, which also, it's my understanding, included her postage. Uh -huh. um, at least, fortunately, she was able to uh, have a visitor's guide prepared, which was based on sponsors, local vendors, uh, businesses, bed, bed and breakfasts, hotels, restaurants, uh, who would all um, sponsor an ad in that guide, which would then have listing of things to do, events, and places to go, et cetera. Terrific. When we come back, we'll take a break right now. When we come back, let's talk about what there is to promote in Kingston and in Ulster County. Great. This is Kingston Now. We'll be back with Kingston Mayor Shane Gallo and Rick Remsnyder, the Director of Tourism for Ulster County, in a moment. You're watching Kingston Now, and we're joined again by Kingston Mayor Shane Gallo and Rick Remsnyder, the Director of Tourism for Ulster County. Mayor, you're a lifelong resident of Kingston. You love the city. What do you want people from out of the area to see about Kingston? If you were going to call someone in New York City and tell them, come up here, you've got to see this, what would you start with? I would have them, okay, identify with the uniqueness of the city. It's waterfront historical heritage. It gives the public locally here quite a sense of pride. Um, we have uh, a number of events planned over the years, be they St. Patrick's Day Parade, be it the Hooli, the Latino Festival, the Blue Stone Festival. Um, and uh, there's more things that are going to come with respect to with the clear water now, um, okay, that's going to break ground, I believe, this spring for the museum. That's exciting. That's going to make Kingston a destination. I'm in the process this week, I think tomorrow, having a meeting with the Trolley Museum and the Land Trust for the rail trail to go from the Strand to East Chester Street. Um, in a couple of weeks, Tom Perna, uh, the developer of AVR, we're going to be making an announcement about a walk along, a, a walk along the Hudson. There's the walkway over the Hudson. We want Kingston to be the walk along, uh, along the Hudson. We have Rotary Park, which many residents don't even know about, which have incredible views of our lighthouse. We have a lighthouse that people don't know about. We have Uptown, as I said, you mentioned uh, we, before the, 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 the break, uh, the reenactment. I want to get that back up, okay, and use the county, okay, to advertise metro in the city because uh, people, particularly from the metro area, are very smitten with historical uh, reenactment or the historical heritage of Kingston. And let's face it, we're the nation's, we, this is where the first U.S. Senate met. We're also the uh, state's first capital. So when you put that all in perspective and what the projects are, be it with the rail line, be it with what's going on here in the, in the Midtown Corridor. We have the Allen Bogan Studio here, which is doing marvelous work with a digital, as a part of the Digital Corridor and the Arts Corridor here, but we have UPAC. And I'm, I'm in the process of, of, I want to meet with the UPAC director to offer King's Inn as a parking uh, site to generate some money, which will then be used for Midtown, okay, beautification. And I want to also use the King's Insight before we get a proposal out for its development for a farmer's market this summer, uh, along with a block park and festival, which I would also be utilizing the county, okay, to attract it. So in sum, in answer to your question, you have the waterfront, you have the historical heritage, you have these projects which are trying to make Kingston a destination. And then we have for our residents, 
those assets, which many don't even know about. So we need also to not only attract from outside the area and outside the city, but within the county and within the city, okay, those individuals and residents who just don't know about what's going on in Kingston. And that's why it's incumbent upon the city and the county to consolidate this service to ensure that the personality and those assets and Kingston's uniqueness are disseminated and people are drawn to the area for all those reasons. Rick, I, I saw the TV commercial that you guys put together and were running in New York City, and it focused a lot on the outdoor activities available to people in Ulster County, whether it's tubing the Esopus or hiking, beautiful spot, you used the music of Mike and Ruthie, local musicians, as the bed, which was really terrific. How will you incorporate Kingston into that kind of um, TV ad, for instance? That's a great question, Jimmy, and I want to give a plug to uh uh, Jeremy Ellen Bogan and his team who through Focus Media and Ellen Bogan Group did a tremendous job with that commercial. Well, that is something that uh, would we would talk to the mayor about and, and uh, whoever the coordinators we're going to work with. But off the top of my head, I mean there's so many things that we could uh, uh, have uh, in the city. Certainly, we love the uptown area, promote that, you know, with the walking tours and, and through the, the Senate House and that whole, that whole corridor, all the great restaurants and everything that you have uh, uh, downtown along the Rondout. That's one thing that the, what he didn't have the money, we can do that because uh, with cooperative advertising, as I'll call it, you know, he has, um, he'll have some bang for his buck and we'll be able to, to incorporate that into that commercial. I want to end with um, serendipity, people driving up the thruway, maybe see a billboard that says, come to Kingston with some images that are enticing. They get off the thruway, and I heard you talk about this, Mayor, before you were mayor in one of the listing sessions you did, about changing the traffic patterns so that when people try and get to uptown from the thruway, it's not as challenging. Do you remember talking about that? Right, and I think it begins at the kiosk. I didn't realize it, but the uptown businessman did a marketing analysis, and they say there's 100,000 cars a day that go past exit 19. When they come off exit 19, they go through the toll plaza, they see a drab, pardon the expression, blase kiosk. Uh, there were plans to upgrade it, make it more popping aesthetically with po powerful colors. They're supposed to have three banners depicting the uptown, midtown, and downtown district. I want that up and running again because it was going to include signage when the uh, to the uptown area and downtown waterfront area. What happened was, uh, Jim, when they put the roundabout there, DOT, would not would prohibited under their regs signage, and I'm going to work with County Executive Hine. We talked about this and Senator Larkin to see if we can have some signage as you go down Washington Avenue, which would have signage directing people to the uptown district and then the downtown district. But that's only part of it because when you go down Washington and you go down North Front, we have to reconfigure the direction of Wall Street because what happens is is that people come into uptown, they make a right on fair, they go all the way down, they don't make a right on main, they don't come around and make a right on wall, they end up going to Rhinebeck or they end up going back up to Woodstock. And I've had more local business people and restaurateurs. And it's kind of neat because uptown is really starting to move. Um, Boysen's owner just purchased a building next to it. She's going to open up a little business and shop and expand the deck in the back, which is exciting. And then um, Woolworth's building is being um, in the process of, of, of being sold. Um, I introduced the prospective purchaser to the current owner, and his plan is exciting. And it's just in, in the process of really facilitating an interest in Uptown Kingston with these new uh, property owners. and. Gabriel's also has just purchased a building across, uh, it was the old Mr. Kim's store. Right on Wall Street, and he's yeah. in the process of renovating that for a cafe and, and up, upstairs apartments. So the, the next piece of that would be to issue a, a proposal for a request for proposal for the parking garage. And when I spoke to the O Positive people uh, the other day for their event, what I'm going to work with with the county is they're going to have their first benefit in April, and we're going to have a band on the top of the parking garage, and we're going to promote the other side of the parking garage as a mural exhibit to attract attention for the festival. So these are all the things we're trying to do for Uptown, beginning from the throughway 
and then going past the kiosk and then the corridor of Washington Avenue with the signage, reconfiguring the streets on North Front Street or Wall Street to go the opposite way in terms of the one way and hopefully try to generate interest and market uptown and then the waterfront with the proper signage as well. Terrific. Well, when we last saw you, you weren't quite mayor yet. You had been elected, but you hadn't taken office. You've taken office. You've hit the ground running. You've uh, moved this, uh, this proposal forward. You even had great weather in January and early February, yes, which I, th I thank you for here in Kingston. And uh, we look forward to these. So the taxpayers. We're out there, <laughs> okay, spending overtime to plow the roads, which Terrific. is a good thing. Well, thanks for stopping by, both of you. Thank you very much for having us. That's it for this week's show. We'd like to thank Kingston Mayor Shane Gallo and Ulster County Director of Tourism Rick Remsnyder for joining us. To find out more about Ulster County and Kingston Tourism, go to ulstercountyalive.com or find them on Facebook and Twitter. You can find Kingston Now on Facebook, too. Be sure to check out the link to our YouTube channel for our past shows. For Kingston Now, I'm Jimmy Buff. We'll see you next time.